Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, configuring your APM 2.5 for um, flight in simple mode. Simple mode is sort of a manual version of a return to home or return to launch feature that a lot of these um, higher end flight controllers use. APM actually has a return to launch feature, but simple mode um, is essentially a mode that can augment any of your flight modes and based on you know the orientation of your quad using the compass it uses the uh, internal compass um, but once you're in that mode when you pitch you know away from you the quad will go away when you pitch back on your input the quad will come back to you no matter how uh, your quad is oriented so it's it's a really useful uh, feature for situations where you might lose orientation or your quad you know is too far you know high up to uh, determine position before we dive into the mission planner, I'd like to point out that it's always, you know, a useful or best practice to check out the RG Copter Wiki, this page here, and, and you can always look at the different flight modes and get a better understanding of how they operate. So uh, for, for this tutorial, you know, I'll walk through the APM setup for uh, the default stabilized mode and then a mode for a stabilize with... Uh, with the uh, simple flight mode engaged. So once you connect your APM 2.5, you fire up Mission Planner, make sure you connect to your COM port up here, and then click on the Configuration tab. And underneath the Configuration tab, you'll notice the uh, Flight Modes option. So my current Flight Mode 1 and current uh, PWM is 1000, which puts us in Flight Mode 1. And you'll notice that when I flip the switch on my Turnigy 9X, uh, you can see that flight mode 4 is highlighted. I'm just using flight mode 4 because I've experimented with other you know, modes 2 and 3 for other uh, settings. And you'll notice as I you know, toggle back and forth um, on my transmitter or on my Turnigy 9X, uh, you'll see it switch between the two flight modes. Now I won't go into details of actually how to configure your uh, transmitter, but um, I'll point out that I am using I have the gear switch um, hooked to my auxiliary uh, port on the uh, transmitter and that is linked to channel 5 on my receiver. So when I toggle that, that's, that's what puts uh, the quad into these different flight modes. And if you have any questions about setting that up, please feel free to post a comment or uh, check out a video of mine that has, shows how to use uh, the mode switch for the DJI NASA to toggle between uh, attitude and manual mode. One, one thing to keep in mind is if you're flying simple mode to augment stabilized mode, uh, you don't have to worry about a GPS lock. If you are using simple mode to augment any sort of uh, GPS enabled flight, then uh, the GPS receiver will need to have a lock for, the, for this to work. So um, that's just one thing that I, I learned. So let's go ahead and save our modes and then now save is complete and we'll take the uh, quad for a test flight. Okay, now we're going to go into simple mode, okay, and then watch, when I pull back, it'll come to me, when I push forward, it'll go away, and note that the blue is the front of the quad, and I can spin, doesn't matter my orientation, the pitch will still work properly, so I can spin it, go back and forth. Pretty awesome feature. 